What's up everybody? We're going to be unboxing this Persona 4 Dancing All Night Disco Fever Edition box. And inside we have a bunch of goodies and uh, I hope every one of you Persona users, Chie is best girl and disco dancing lovers, are ready to dive right into this. So, without further ado, we're going to unbox this. Alright, before we get into this, I just want to show you the beautiful curves of this game. And I do apologize, I do not have many places of my house where I can do unboxing, so we're going to get some crappy angles here. <laughs> but on the back of the box, it pretty much describes what's in the box. Uh, gives you a brief summary of what the game's all about. It says Disco Fever all around the box. Very reflective and shiny. Very, very pleasing to look at in that. It's very, very, uh, it's gonna be a great box to add to my collection as well with all my other Persona stuff. And on the back of the box, it gives you a brief description of what's in the box again. And, you know, I'm not gonna go over everything that's gonna unbox. I'll show you a picture of it really quick, but I wanna point out that it does come with two CDs. And the CDs are pretty much what I bought the game for because these CDs uh, have the entire GOAT soundtrack on it, so I can't wait to get inside that soundtrack, put it on my phone and listen to that shit in my car. Uh, but you know, I'm gonna get into this box and we need to uh, use utmost safety while we're uh, unboxing this, right? Anyway, <laughs> we're gonna get into this really quick. Uh, I wanna be really, really careful while unboxing this because you know me, I like collecting this stuff so I really don't wanna ruin the, uh, the box itself. Uh, I don't wanna basically take any of that nice reflectiveness off of it. So that was pretty, that was pretty easy. Pretty easy to get off with uh, my Smith & Wesson knife I have there. So, uh, looks like the back of the box is actually just like a uh, little piece of paper that comes off. So, I'm still gonna save this. I really, really like uh, to uh, save stuff like that. So, we're just gonna put that down there and uh, the back of the box is pretty much like the front of the box. It's still gonna be reflective. It's gonna have Risei and Yu Naokami on there. And, I'm gonna put this away. And we're gonna jump right into this. So. First off, we're gonna get into the uh, top of the box here. Try not to bend the top of the box. And it uh, looks like that was pretty easy to get into. And it's gonna like fold and flip out, maybe. Let me see what we got going on here. There's like a little tab you pull out. Let me pull it out this way. Maybe if I pull it out this way, ooh, look at that. We have a bunch of stuff there. And it looks like we have some Teddy stickers. <laughs> all right, so I'm gonna put this over here so you all can just Take a look at that throughout the entire unboxing. So, it looks like we have uh, some more reflective teddy stickers as well. Uh, it basically goes along with the same theme and reflectiveness as the uh, box, excuse me, itself. So, we have some uh, teddy stickers. Uh, looks like we have four of them right there. Put that right there. And we have a PlayStation Vita uh, Persona 4 Dancing All Night skin. And on the back of this, it actually has uh, directions to go to the website and you can get uh, some uh, background um, wallpapers for your PlayStation Vita, but uh, funny thing is, uh, well not the funny thing is uh, because I know all other countries are going to hate this, but uh, this skin is uh, exclusive to North America, so uh, only North Americans get this unfortunately, but it's a pretty pretty nice looking skin, it has a disco ball on it, and it says Persona 4 Dancing All Night, and uh, it has a screen protector on there as well. I already have a screen protector on my PlayStation Vita, so no point in putting that on just yet. Maybe I'll put that on later. And we have the Teddy um, PlayStation Vita pouch. So let's get this out of the pouch real quick so we can see what that looks like and how well the Vita fits in this. Let's put that down there. And uh, this is this is really reflective as well. Everything that is coming out of this box is really reflective. So we have Teddy uh, doing a little disco fever there on the front and on the back. Uh, I don't know whether or not you can see the design, but it does have the Persona 4 uh, Dancing All Night logo, with the Teddy logo, uh, basically like the same thing as uh, the zipper part. So let's go ahead and see how well the Vita will fit in here and uh, see what my background looks like. Oh wait, that's not Chie. That's not Chie. <laughs> anyway, let's see how well this fits in there. And it looks like, uh, yep, they had a little tape on there, so let's take that off. Ah, this is pretty pretty nice and sturdy, so let's go ahead and put our feet in there. It fits in there fairly well. It's nice and padded, I do like that, and you could probably throw like uh, your game cartridges in there as well. Let's take that back out, they have a little styrofoam in there, take the styrofoam out. And uh, there are two separate compartments in there, I don't know whether or not you can see that. Uh, there's two separate compartments in there, probably one side for your Vita and one side for your game cartridges. So uh, this is this is really cool, I really do, I really like that. So let's go ahead and put that over there with the box and the stickers. And let's get to the other content we have here. So we have 14 
uh, DLC, what is this, uh, 14 DLC costumes and a bonus song. And the code is uh, actually facing towards me, so don't think you're going to pull a quick one on me. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and download that after I uh, do this video. So, you get 14 costumes when you get this uh, Disco Fever edition, and you get a bonus song as well. So I'm going to put this right on over here, and look at what we have here. Look at what we have here. We have the soundtrack. Let's put that aside for a second. We're going to get into that in just one moment. And we have the game itself. I really do like the uh, actual uh, PlayStation Vita <laughs> uh, box art for it. It's 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 pretty cool looking. You have uh, you know Akami right there in the front, and then you have um, you have Nanako. So I'm going to put that right there. We're going to unbox that individually. But what's 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 in here? Oh, what is this? What is this? It looks like something you get out of a damn cereal box. It is a Teddy keychain. So this is, this like seemed like it's all Teddy uh, oriented, like all these little prizes that you get in here, but this is a little Teddy keychain that you get. Uh, it's pretty solid, uh, really heavy actually, and uh, it's all gold, and uh, it's pretty cool looking. Little Teddy logo um, keychain, so let's go ahead and put this over there. And let's open this, let's open the soundtrack. Let's open the soundtrack. All right. And we have the soundtrack open. Shows Teddy in the front and you doing a little disco in the back. And uh, let's see when we open this, what we got here. So it looks like we actually do have uh, two CDs. Well, not surprising since the game, uh, the game case actually said there was gonna be two CDs. So we have a uh, blue CD and then we have a pink CD, this one, this two, and there are a lot of songs on here. On uh, CD1 or disc1, we have uh, 24 songs, and on uh, disc2, we have 39 songs. So, wow, you have a huge selection of songs that you can listen to, so that's really, really awesome. I was really hoping that they didn't go along and say, hey, look, we're going to have a soundtrack for this game, and then do what they did for Persona um, Q, <laughs> Shadows of the Labyrinth, and then have like five songs on the soundtrack. <laughs> so that was pretty lame uh, how they did that. But I'm going to put that over there. Let's dive right into the game. It's probably not going to have much in here. Not as much as it had in the actual uh, Disco Fever box. But, you know, we still have to see what is in here. Probably the game, right? Okay, so we have the box itself. And there you have it. You have the game cartridge in there. <laughs> it's yellow. It has the Persona 4 Dancing All Night logo. And uh, that is pretty much it. So that's all there is to this unboxing of Persona 4 Dancing All Night. Just remember that uh, if you did get this edition, go ahead and go on the website that they give you and detailed out on that one card. Download your costumes, download your free DLC, and uh, download the backgrounds for the PlayStation Vita. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Peace.